Hi, welcome to episode 23 of the Link Building Show. I'm Eleanor and I'm here with Ferry. And we're going to be talking about nofollow and defollow links. So first things out, what are nofollow and defollow links? So it's a um, dofollow and nofollow is a, is a very debatable subject in SEO where some people say dofollows are the only links you should ever get. And some other people say you should also get nofollows because they are part of the natural links, link structure of the web, right? Some websites do do follow, some websites do give no follow. And some people say you should have both. Do follow and no follow are not visible to, you know, the naked eye when you look at a website. But if you inspect the code, you will see a little attribute to the, the link anchor, which is like rel equals. And then it says do follow, no follow. We can say sponsored. We can have var various attributes. For, this was done specifically to almost eliminate, you know, the forum spams and the common spams where um, website owners could just add a rel nofollow to a comment, to the comment section of their website or to a forum thread. And, and that would kind of almost automatically eliminate the SEO spammers who used to just create comments just with the purpose of having a, a link that would count as a positive signal to Google. Now, when Google introduce the nofollow attribute and they said they're going to ignore nofollow in the past, then it discouraged spammers to just post content because it had no SEO value. But nowadays Google gets very clever. So they don't, they almost don't need the nofollow and dofollow attribute because now they can identify the value of a link, not just by whether it's a do follow or no follow set by as set by the website owner, but they can they can use artificial intelligence to identify whether that link is valuable or not. Therefore, Google have posted a new updated guideline on do follow and no follow. We said no follow is only a hint now. So, how would you say this all affects your link building within the company? Within the company, we don't even look at do follow or no follow. My strong opinion, and I've seen this like tested a lot of times. Do follow and no follow are indeed a natural part of the web and we should have both. As Google rightfully said, so no follow is a hint. So if Google thinks that the link fits well within an article, it's irrelevant whether it's a do follow or no follow, Google will give it SEO value. And that's how we look at it. If the link is relevant, if it serves the user who reads through the article and finds a link, if that link is useful, Google will give it SEO value. So we don't really count do follow, no follow. We say we got a good link or we got a bad link. That's We have good links and bad links. We don't look at them as do follow, no follow. So having said that, what would you say the benefits are to no follow links? The no follow links are valuable because Google rightfully said so that they are now treating it as a hint. So do follow and no follow are almost at the same SEO value because Google is actually looking at uh, the bigger picture and not just the attribute. And if it's a useful link, then no follow is valuable. If it's not a useful link within the article, then do follow is not valuable. So it, it can be both. So what can someone working in PR do to affect the type of link they're going to get? There's no way to kind of influence the journalist to, you know, link, change the no follow or do follow attribute because that's set on a, on a CMS level, usually. And it would not be viable to chase journalists to change the new do follow no follow tax because that would that would put off journalists to working with you in the future because you you are just a hassle for them, and they will not usually change no follow to do follow, or the other way around. I think we we don't even bother with that. We just leave the links as they are naturally. Well, thank you for that very interesting insight, Ferry. You're very welcome. I <laughs> hope this is this is helpful, and I hope it kind of sheds a light on how we treat do follow, no follow. And I hope that people will understand that Google is treating a link as a good link as, and as a bad link, regardless of whether they are do follow or no follow. Yeah, that's great. Thank awesome. you very much. <laughs> Thank you.